Welcome to the podcast of data and analytics in business. We will learn from the leading industry experts using data and analytics to solve the problems and create values in practice. We will also learn where the industry is heading to and how data and analytics will shape the industry in the future. Most importantly, how they are preparing their business for digital transformation and disruption in the future. I'm your host, Jason Tan, and thank you for listening. Hey guys, thank you for listening to the Analytics Show podcast. I really appreciate your support and feedback on our podcast. So just a quick shout out. Um, this episode is sponsored by us at the Analytics Show podcast. So whenever you are listening, follow the link in the description to join our second uh, giveaway, but also the first giveaway of 2022 to win 1 million Shiba Inu guys. So I want to give away 1 million Shiba Inu guys, and so no matter what price it will be, you can guarantee to get a million Shiba Inu coin. So start off the year right by standing a chance to win a million of the most promising cryptocurrency of 2022 as a small token of our appreciation for your support. Now, it is a new year and a perfect time to start your whatever your new plan for your analytic career. So hop over to the uh, Shiba Inu Troy before it raises up to the cryptocurrency mountain while listening to the podcast. Thank you so much. Bye now. Hi, welcome to the episode 89 of the Analytics Show podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to listen. This is going to be a short episode and it would be a solo episode and we will be discussing about the product analytic and how to use uh, product analytic to improve your products. Now, here's the question for you. Have you recently introduced a new feature in your application or software product? If yes, then how do you use analytics to track the product usage? In this podcast episode, I'll be sharing with you how to integrate product analytic tools in your software product. Now, this can help you and your team to track your user digital footprint step by step to see what they like and what leads them to engage, return, or churn. Product analytic tools not only answer this question, but they combine all data sources into a single organized view. Now, a bit of context before we start. The rise of web-based technology have changed how application and software products are built. The development within this product often require analytics to be included as well as so that we can track how people are using our product at any given time and what function do they use most often and what feature do they not really like and they actually don't really use. That would certainly allow us to focus on improving and working on the feature that actually bring value to our user. So the question that we should be often asking ourselves is which module get used least frequently or more frequently and which of them require improvement. Now, these are the questions that could be answered with the help of product analytic tools. Now, the good news is there are plenty of such tools in the market. So how do we know which one to choose? As you already guessed, the answer, it depends. Specifically, I think it depends on whether you are looking for a quick and easy early stage setup or something that requires a bit more time and resources that buy you future flexibility. In this episode of the Analytics Show, I will talk about some of these two, specifically mixed panel versus amplitude and post hoc, and how they could be integrated in your product. Now, before we delve into the specific of each two, let's talk about what they have in common. They are all event-based analytics that help you to figure out what action a user took on your website or your web application. You can then set up a funnel by tracking a series of actions that you believe a user should go through to result in a successful conversion or a successful action. You may also refine your step further filtering out certain types of user or event properties 
for example, by country or type of device. To illustrate, let's say you run an e-commerce store. You want to figure out what types of items people check out without hesitation and what type of item often result in evident cuts. Now, this can be performed quite easily with an event-based analytic tool. If you, take, if you track two events, one when someone adds something to their cart and another when someone checks out their cart, you can figure out which product leads to a high checkout rate and which leads to abandoned cart. This is a simple example, but you can also find the answer of other questions like, is your CTA convincing? And what parts of the sign up process needs to be improved to prevent potential users from dropping off. Now, enough with the introduction. Let's start with the first two in the list, mixed panel. Mixed panel is an all-in-one tool that integrates well with other major platforms such as HubSpot and Zapier. It also comes with a marketing automation suite that allows you to act on your user data by messaging them based on condition. Furthermore, there is a built-in notification system which alerts your team via email or SMS at additional cost. Mixpanel has a free plan limited to a thousand monthly track user. It also offer a free one-year growth plan for startup which allow you to track up to a hundred thousand monthly user for free. Plus access to their more advanced feature. This is quite a good deal, although it is limited to startup less than two years old and no more than $4 million in funding. After the free deal ends, mix panel start at $25 a month. Next up, we have Amplitude, a close competitor to mix panel. Unlike mix panel who strive to be all in one, Amplitude prefer to be a clean tool where you can focus on deep analysis. It caters primarily to an in-depth analysis of user behavior, and it has been long strong in identifying user across device. Many users seem to prefer Amplitude over a fixed panel for its more flexible and powerful dashboard tools. What makes Amplitude really stand out is its generous free plan that includes up to 10 million events and unlimited data source and user. Moreover, Amplitude provides a deal where you can double this coda as well as get full access to advanced analytic tools for free for one year. The big caveat though is that the pricing should up the cliff after you pass the limit of the free plan, which costs around $18,000 a year. Last but not least, for those who prefer to keep your data private and sell holds your analytics suite in your own infrastructure, you could consider PostHawk. PostHawk is an open source analytic platform that was founded only recently in 2020. With PostHawk, you will have full access to the underlying data and transparency of the source code, which means you don't have to make assumptions about how certain events are tracked. As a young and developer-focused project, the team behind PostHub is really open to suggestion and implementing new features in the tool, which are more tailored to your needs. One of the features that I personally find very interesting is called feature flagging. It allows you to hide or sell a new feature in your product to a selected group of users, which can be filtered by custom property. You can then see how your app performs and how this feature affects user retention and conversion rate. And believe it or not, all of these are included in the free plan. However, if you would like to assess the advanced features such as correlation analysis, multivariate testing, etc., the paid plan starts at $1,500 a month. Now, I don't think that is one best analytic tool for everyone. The core analytic functionality of all these three tools is more or less equivalent. The key consideration are the amount of maintenance and discipline required to maintain useful analytic 
and the ability to go far without spending a lot of money. And whether you are early stage or well-established team, we all must be disciplined with our capital and development resources. If you are super early stage, I would suggest either mixed panel. If you are looking for all rounded tool that integrate well with CRM platform and you want to go far on a free plan, then Amplitude is a good option. For a team with a few more developers, you can choose a more scalable and flexible setup with PostHop. So that is a summary of the top three product analytic tools of my choice. We certainly use some of them in the product that we build, um, especially the analytic as a service product. So I hope that it helps you to make a decision on which tool you ultimately choose to integrate in your product. Because if you don't know how your customer are using and interacting with your digital product, then you are flying blind. Thank you for listening. Mm -hmm.